Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Minecraft. I haven't played on here in a while, at least not recorded on here for a while, so it's a little weird. But we're back and uh, we're here at the arena and a lot, a lot, a lot has changed. Where am I looking at? Oh hey. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why, but I started getting into pixel art, so I started making a few statues. Uh, first one was of myself, because why not? Uh, that's actually a re basically a recoloring of a uh, pixel of Luffy from One Piece, and I made it to look like myself, kind of, sort of, as least as as close as I could. I forgot the knuckles though on my on my hand. That's like the weapon in the Maple Story. I don't I don't have it on there, but everything else is pretty similar, even my ripped clothing. So that's cool. <laughs> I even have the same gray eyes. <laughs> uh, the next one was the Scott Pilgrim, but he's unfinished, and he's gonna stay unfinished, probably. Uh, here's Spider. Not around, anyway. Um, so yeah, this arena is it's a lot different. Uh, I'm pretty sure I talked about this thing before, so I'm not gonna mention it again too much. Uh, one thing I, I, I did with it, which I think is cool, is that uh, the entrance to the arena, I just like punched in some holes. So it looks kind of like a jail in there, but uh, there's like a jailbreak or something, and you could enter through certain areas. Uh, we've considered kind of the that as the main entrance to this place, the zombie farm, because there's a portal in there. So I made sure to put an entrance right here. And if you're wondering what this is all about, uh, yeah, I wanted to make one level for all the way up. That hits actually the build limit, so all the way up. Uh, I'm completely done with the first map, and I started working on the second map, but I don't have enough time to do any of this. I don't have a timer going, by the way. Excuse me, I'll whip out my phone and start timing. My phone's also almost dead, so yeah. Oh wait, no. I did something. I like whipped out my alarm instead of the timer. They both have like a timer uh thing to it, so I'm like, oh. So anyway, yeah, this is gonna be a shorter episode because I don't have much time. It's like the holidays, as you know, so not much time to record and yeah. So it's gonna be a shorter one, and this is, eh. So the tub server has been decided that this is gonna get reset. So we're gonna have a new, brand new world, and this stuff will be lost. So I'm not gonna finish that. I'm not gonna finish this. I did ask for the uh, this world, like a save of it. So. I might come back every once in a while and like work on it, but nah. I'd rather build things on a new world, so yeah. Plus I have to gather resources again, so. Which is good, because I've been running low on resources here. That's alright. So, yeah. I promised I, I would talk about this map, so I, I, I'm, I'm gonna ramble. <laughs> really fast. So while I was making this map a lot of updates happened so I get these new fancy doors and um, I got I started getting into Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike has like callouts so that you can tell your teammates about information about a certain area. So I called this the Law Spawn. Uh, there's signs posted all around like this place the market, this place the slums and both sides have it to make sure everyone knows exactly where a place is. And I don't know. I don't know what to say about this place. I put a lot, a lot of thought into it. And I'm not sure what I said in my first video about this place. And I know I think I have a, I know I think. I have a video that's not been posted on this place where I share thoughts about it, but I think I'm just gonna scrap it because 
that video is so old and I'm already recording this so yeah it got like burps and hiccups like I always do so yeah so what this place I really wanted it to be when you're on the ground it's a very up close battle not so much in here this place is kinda open but around here it's like very close quarters you can sneak into buildings and things like that over here kind of sort of the same thing not as much not as tight and over here I've actually gotten lost in here even though it's not like much like there's not much to get lost in but I actually did get lost and I built the damn thing <laughs> so yeah I like I don't know how I got lost I like entered through here and had done like a spin and I was like where am I <laughs> so yeah so I think that's pretty good if your creator gets lost in something that's meant to lose people <laughs> or maybe I'm just stupid but uh so I've talked about how before I wanted to do comics right now I, I want to get more into game design so this was kind of my test testing myself on a level building a level and this is before I really knew things about game design because back then I was just like oh, I'm just gonna try it and then now I'm like actually I started searching things up and learning what exactly game designers do to make something so parts of it are like totally me derping and parts of it are actually me thinking <laughs> so like one thing where I really thought about my voice apologize like every time I make a video my voice cracks and it never does normally so anyway uh, one thing I really thought about was this the huge tower here because this thing is the highest point in the map and it looks at everything you could shoot at anyone there's not much room for cover when you're up here like for the people you're shooting at the only place that they're really safe is behind the market you can't shoot them there you can't shoot them all around this market unless they're like right here uh, another place they're safe is when they're back there and they're lost in there but other than that everywhere else is open especially out there so this is a very powerful spot to be in called the nest so I didn't want I, I wanted to be somewhere in the middle which is the middle is actually over there but I didn't I wanted it to be more difficult because over there they have a lot of advantages too like this huge market shield and they can jump on these roofs while this side can only jump on these roofs at the start of a match so because these guys if they're going on the roofs they can only go up this way actually no I shouldn't say when I built this at the time when this stuff wasn't here like this and that and that they could only go this way and go straight there so those guys knew exactly where those guys were coming in from right so in order to prevent that I needed to give them more ways up that's where that came in and that but yeah uh, basically what I'm trying to say is that to get that spot I gave it to these guys because uh, it's a very powerful spot and they have a, kind of a disadvantage just because the other team knows where they're going so for these guys there's the rebels you run out here you jump and jump and jump all the way in there climb up the stairs and boom you're up here right so I timed that many many times and I made sure that this route from over here you can actually get to that tower from right here at just about the same time as the other guys so I made this one more hard to do it though because it's on the other side of the map so I feel like these guys might have a slight advantage but it's pretty easy to screw up this run yet you pretty much need a perfect run on this and the way to do it is you go back here you jump up here run jump this and jump this and climb up the ladder and went right, right here you'll be looking at an opponent so if someone from there and someone from over there uh, were to run straight up here the guy coming up the stairs would go like this and would meet this guy doing the same thing like this so it's actually pretty even 
but there are areas for both sides to get screwed up on. One thing is this huge jump here. This is a very open jump. There's nothing to protect you. So someone can easily shoot you and like knock you off from over there. This is a pretty wide open area, so and you can get to this little roof from there, so and from there to there. So it's pretty easy to stop these guys. So that's why this that run isn't that overpowered. But for the guys inside, this you can stop them, but it's a bit harder. One place is right through here. If you manage to shoot an arrow in there and hit the dude, that, that could happen. Another spot is right here, but that probably won't happen. And another spot, it's a weird one, but you can shoot them from in there if you really wanted to. You could jump shoot. All of them, all of those holes in the wall, they all kind of point towards right here in the stairs. See, boom, boom, and one slightly above. So, you can stop them, but it's a pain to do. <laughs> I made sure to include that in uh, my thing, my design. Uh, and for these guys to get up to that middle market, you run up here, jump up this, and if right here you can jump that, but it, it's kind of hard. <laughs> I'd like to go around this way more, but so I've seen people do it this way, so... Eh, still, I'm getting some lag at the moment, probably because it's night, so probably not the best uh, time to do it. There we go. It's not as hard as I made it seem, but yeah, you can get up here. And yeah, I don't have time to explain every little thing about this map, but I made sure to include many different ways to get up on roofs and different roofs. Like strange combos you wouldn't see ever. So, like most people would look at this and say it's impossible to get from there to there because this this little stair preventing you. But if you step on this, you can actually make it just barely. So I made sure to include something like that. You know, just so these guys can get on these roofs because the other guys can easily. They have stairs up to these roofs. So it'd be unfair to give them that roof path. And the other team not. I thought he saw an Enderman. But anyway, yeah, these guys literally have stairs just up. And they can they have access to all these roofs. This whole path. And they can actually make that jump if you time it with this fence. It's really hard to do. There we go. And uh yeah. So it'd be cheap to give those guys this path and then not give these guys the same path. So I gave them that, but these guys are at a disadvantage. Oh, whoops. <laughs> the, uh, the guys over here at a disadvantage with this path because you can't do anything once you get here. Because you can't make it from this to that or this to that. At least I don't think you can. Nope. So if you're going to go on these roofs from that side, you're basically just fighting off whoever's over here. So, yeah. Still, I think it's a good addition, just to let them uh, up. Also, another thing, if you're getting chased, like, from this side, because you can actually climb from over there. I'm not sure if this jump is possible. I tried it a ton, and I suck at it. But it might be possible. I know this one is. You could do this pretty easily. Like that. So if you're getting chased, and you want to, like, leave them in the dust, there's nowhere else to go, really. So you just kind of have to go this way and get chased around the whole map and there's no real way to lose them except for this one but it's very hard like stupidly hard I figured it out though because I'm a genius <laughs> but uh, if you time it so if you jump right on this edge yeah I'll just show you just run jump here and keep jumping and then you'll jump at the very edge of this block and uh, that'll make it otherwise you're screwed so uh, no, even then. But yeah. Uh, normally, because people usually run this, and this like little sudden drop here kind of screws people up, or if they think they can make it from this, from that side rather than this, that's not possible. So you have to make it at the very edge of this one. So you have to follow this, go like that. And just that's so hard to make. That's such a hard jump. 
And from here, you can actually make it back here without taking fall damage. So, it's a very screwed up map, and there's a lot of tricky jumps and such. But it's a very handy one. Like, see, this jump, no fall damage. And yeah, I might have gotten a little too crazy with the details on the roofs at some point. Because look how flat this one is, and look how stupid this one is in that one. <laughs> but it's alright, it, it adds something. I like how it kind of screws you up, because it's not like a flat roof like that. It kind of goes, it like makes you bounce when you're climbing up these stairs and climbing up and down. I like that, that feel, so I, I made sure to include it. Eh? No. Okay. I thought I could do a thing, but no. Like this, right here. If you're trying to do this jump, it was way too easy to do that jump. So I included this and this. So this like really screws you up when you like fall. Like see, I tried to make it, that sucked. <laughs> so, I don't really have much. I don't know how to teach about game design or map design. I know a thing or two. I'm not like a professional. But, yeah. Maybe if you guys ask for it, I guess, because I asked for this world save, so if I get it, you guys can ask me for it, and I guess I can give you this like section or whatever, and you can like play with it and study it, I don't know. I kind of want to give this map away to someone, but I don't know, because I'm still working on the other one, and this map is kind of short, it's not, I don't think like Mindplex, or like some server where they, all they do is like multiplayer games on Minecraft. I don't think they're gonna take that because that's pretty s low. Like low... Uh, what am I saying? It's built for not that many people. I played it for like four people total. Maybe six. Six is, six is a squeeze because that's a lot of area to cover. Uh, This map, I didn't talk at all about this one. But this is, I talked about how the one down there was, actually no, this was probably, I don't know if I talked about the one in, down there, the first level, in a video or in the one I scrapped, but I, it's uh, inspired by an anime called Magi, at least that's how I pronounce it, and uh, I talked a lot about Aladdin you know, in the bottom one, and Magi is also kind of inspired by Aladdin. Um... And like, oh, what was it? There's a lot of those kind of stories. And like, it has like Alibaba in it, which is like an old story in. I forget like what culture. But yeah, it's like a. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> so, this one's kind of inspired by the actual anime. The one down there is kind of inspired by just a desert village. You know, I talked about how I like criminals, and like a desert thief was like one of my favorite kinds of criminal, I guess. So, uh, th but this one up here isn't based around that, it's based more on just the show, Maggie. And it's, it's like a, it's like an extra, I guess, where uh, a character comes into a dungeon and it, it looks actually just like this. There's a little like broken pillar and a taller broken pillar. And he steps up and he just sees like all this stuff, right? And that's kind of what I wanted to make. So I, that's why I build this one three layers high. Boom, boom. One, two, and three. So I was actually thinking of making it four tall, but I kept it there because, yeah, reasons. Uh, I left markers for me to build on, but I can't anymore. The server will get uh, reset. At New Year's, I just fell. <laughs> but um, like I said, I might work on these while I'm not recording or doing anything, even after the reset. So yeah, one of my biggest challenges with this one is gonna find a way to reduce fall damage, and I think slime box is the easy way out, but it does not fit with this like gritty theme of dirt for the bottom floor and clay for everything else but it works as it, it's functionally correct just visually screwed up 
So, <laughs> yeah. I might find a server to give my maps away to, because I'm, I'm making them. And if this server is going to get left behind, then, like, yeah, we could always come back to it and play them. But that first floor, I don't know about this one. This one, even if it's done, this one might not be so great, just because it's so hard. When I'm envisioning to do. But the one down here, it works great, I think. Most, better than most. Because most people just kind of have, like... I don't know, just a few like obstacles randomly placed. And like, here we will fight in this arena. But this is like actually thought out. I don't think too many people do that. Like, even in the servers with multiplayer, like PvP arenas, um, I feel like most of them just build a cool looking place. And those places do look really cool. But it's not built for fighting. It's just something that's there, and people are just fighting it. Like, I know, play Minecraft, the Minecraft PvP server place. Um, they're just kind of, they put places from their old map, you know? It's, the maps in there are made to be a civilization to live in, not to fight in, but they're using it as a map to fight in, you know? But this one's specifically designed to fight in, so I feel like this one's better than most, just because of that. But I know, I, like, I'm just a beginner map designer, I guess. I'm not even gonna, like, do this constantly. I'm just screwing around, basically. Trying to test myself. I'm sure there's a lot of things I can improve on, and I will if I were to build something like this later. So, yeah. Uh, my timer just hit around 19. But there's a moment behind where I didn't have the timer so I'm assuming we're at 20 minutes and that's really all I had to say I did promise I'd talk about this map so there but the server is gonna get reset my voice dude <sighs> so yeah servers gonna get reset and yeah just so you guys know on the Fantasia uh, I didn't really make much progress. The only progress I made was on my house. I just built like a floor. <laughs> so not much happened. I did get the mycelium. That did happen. Cause you know how my cave, if you, yeah, you guys seen it. It was like made of grass like this. I wanted it made of mycelium, but we never had it. But kind of recently we got it and I just covered it up with it. Also Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. <laughs> so yeah I think yeah there's no other videos to make on here and I barely barely made them anyway so I think I'm gonna make more videos on the next server because when I started here I was in high school and out of like set schedule with high school that took up just a ton of time and in college, my first semester here was so shitty. Like the scheduling was so bad. And I'm, I'm like going over time, but that's okay. I'm almost done. Just the scheduling was so bad. And just nope. I, that was very hard recording too. Just like two days in the week, in the mornings, really early, where I could do it. But uh, my next schedule should be better. So yeah, for my second semester. So hopefully I'll be doing more videos on this at least. So, yeah. Thanks for watching you guys. And I'll see you guys. What the fuck? I'll see you guys in season 2. I guess, is that safe to call it? Server 2? I don't know. See you guys later. Bye bye.